Hello everybody and welcome to my quick tutorial for the SciTech X55. I'll be concentrating on one particular area which is the SBK or SLG button which is your speed brakes. A lot of people have been having difficulty with this so I'm going to do a quick run through on how to program it. I'll be programming both Soviet and American aircraft starting with the uh, Soviet aircraft. Okay, getting straight into it. The Soviet aircraft are easier to program, they're less fiddly because basically it's either on or off. The first thing you really need to do here is make sure the switch is unlatched. If it's latched, it will basically just keep repeating the command until you deactivate it and reactivate it a second time. So untick the unlatched first, then move your way down to new advanced command. You see it down there in the list of commands and just left click that to select it. Now this window will open up. First of all, rename your command. So speed brakes or air brakes or whatever. Now you'll see three, uh, three little mini sections to this window. The first one is when you basically push the switch second one is if you want to continue a particular action and the third one is when you release the switch we're only really working with the first and third for this particular setting so click on the window and say your command in dcs is control and b so once you've activated the window hold down control hold hold down b then release control and then release B. When you've done that, at the very end of the list, you'll see the different timings there. So at the very end of the list, right click, then select quantize time, make sure everything is set to zero and press OK. Then ignore the middle section and go straight to the release section. And in the release section, Again, because you're releasing, say your command is Shift and B. So you will hold down Shift, then hold down B, then release Shift, then release B. Again, at the very end, right click, go down to Quantize Time, make sure it's set to zero, and press OK. Then press OK. Then go up and profile your stick. So you're basically just sending the profile to your actual, actual throttle. And then press the next little widget here to test it. So activate the switch. And then deactivate the switch. And test it again just for good measure. So now you know that switch is programmed to those two commands. Now we're in the marvellous uh, DCS MiG-21 by Levenek. and uh, It's one of my favourite uh, jets in DCS, probably my favourite. And here you go, we're just activating the uh, switch. And you can see, and then deactivating the switch. And you can see it all works there. Next we're moving on to the American aircraft. Soviet aircraft, which operate on a simple open-closed mechanism, the American aircraft generally use sliders. But because this is basically an on-off switch, we can't really set it up in the same way as it's set up in the aircraft using this button. So we have to compromise by using timings. So we set it up in the same way we set up the Soviet aircraft. I'm setting up the A-10C at the moment, by the way. And again, hold control, Press B, hold B, release control, then release B, quantize to zero, and this is where it changes. Select the second to last button there, which is the control, click, right click on it, and then set delay. And we're setting the delay 
to 2800 milliseconds or 2.8 seconds then for the next one again hold shift hold b release shift release b quantize time to set it all to zero press ok then left click on shift as seen right click on it set delay and again for 2.8 seconds or 2800 milliseconds and you can see a little bit fidgety there um, press ok press ok again they're all set and then profile it to your throttle and then test the profile and now when I open this window you'll see something a little bit different when I engage the switch it continues to press it until it reaches 2.8 seconds and again when I disengage the switch the same thing happens so you've got a full open and close of your speed brake and of course you save that and then I'm going to move on to the F86 so in the F86 it's a little bit different opening the speed brake takes a shorter time than closing the speed brake so again new advanced command rename the command to whatever command you want to and then go to the first window the press window when you've done that select that and then hold down control hold down B release control and then release B last right click at the very end quantize time set it to zero left click then right click on control set delay and here we're setting the delay I think for uh, 2.4 seconds or 2400 milliseconds no I'm wrong it's actually 2000 milliseconds or two seconds and you can see both are set to that now so we'll do both actions in that time then for the release it's a little bit different so again same process shift and B release shift release B quantize time set it to zero select the second shift right click set delay now here we're setting the delay to 5600 milliseconds that's the time it takes to uh, close the speed brake in the F86 so again it's an open or closed state but we have to approach it from a different angle again just profile it and test it and you can see it here when I engage it engages for basically two seconds but when I disengage it's 5.6 seconds so now we're going to have a look at this working in again one of my favorite jets the F86 by Belsen Tech this jet is still in beta but looking at the jet you definitely wouldn't know it so here we go and just quick view inside the cockpit there's a little bit of stutter there because I was running about five six different things at once and they were all heavy on the CPU but you get the idea so we'll go back outside the cockpit now and uh, basically I'm just going to uh, engage the speed brake and then disengage the speed brake just to show you how it works I'd like to take this time to uh, thank you all very much for watching uh, if you found it useful or if you have any comments please leave them please click su subscribe and thank you for watching and uh, hopefully these tips were uh, helpful to you